guy's 16 years old and he goes and he takes a job over like this and, and we really made him the superintendent. He didn't just stand back and tell people what to do, but he would show them how to plant the plants, um, how to use some of the tools. And he did a great job of explaining the importance of what they were doing and why they were doing it. Water comes down from the whole parking lot and it uh, goes into our, our grade system and that goes into the garden and just irrigates all the plants. And then from there, the roots of the plants and the good sand and dirt mix stops all the chemicals and, and oils that come from our automobiles and our, and our cars kind of dead in its tracks before it gets down to the pipe system. He was very motivated by this project and convinced uh, that this is a good project and, and it was for the schools and parents were going to be involved and the kids were going to be involved in picking this location. He's showing students at the school, teachers, but also just people that might be going down the sidewalk what they can do in their own yards. What we're doing is really treating this water that was not being treated before and preventing it from going into our storm system. When I was 16, I was reading Superman comic books behind my math workbook. I didn't even think that anything like this was done by young people like that. We really wanted to get the whole community involved. We got the students and the faculty, and then also our troop. The students were involved in creating the garden, so they came out and learned about it the whole way through. We also have lessons that he worked with some of the teachers, so then they can come out and use the garden as an outdoor classroom. And he's involved younger scouts in the maintenance of it. It's about community involvement and improving the community. That was the most rewarding for me, just seeing everyone working together uh, towards a common goal.